up the iPad all by yourself using VoiceOver right out of the box. Lessons at YourTechVision.com So uh, for anybody who is blind and just got an iPad, let's go ahead and go about setting this up uh, correctly. So when you get the iPad, you're going to hit the home button three times. One, two, three. App switcher. Messages. And it says app switcher tap to open. because you're actually given lots of options here, but you need to set up voiceover so it stops saying app switcher. So the easiest way to do it is just take one finger and flick it left to right. Calendar. Notes. Reminders. Keep flicking until you get to settings. Maps. YouTube. Videos. Contact. Game Center. iTunes. App Store. Newsstand. FaceTime. Camera. Photo booth. Settings. Now, once again, it doesn't Double matter where you are flicking your finger, uh, but I highly suggest putting the iPad in landscape. Uh, position so it gives you more options to make errors. So you hit, uh, you found settings and just double tap and it doesn't matter where you double tap on the screen and you open your settings. settings. So you're in your settings and what you have to understand is your uh, screen is divided into two frames. You have the left frame so if I flick my finger once again Airplane mode, Alt Wi-Fi, notification, location, uh, brightness, move and through options. Frame. Selected, general. Button. And you want to go down to general, and then you want to double tap, and then you will open the general options. Settings. Heading. So the easiest way to do this is just take your hand and touch the right side of the screen. Selected. Mute. So you can actually focus it where you need to, uh, need it to be. Now you can move your finger from right to left. Lock rotation. Use side switch restriction. And you can Absolute. move to Auto the lock. top. Spotlight. iTunes. Bluetooth. Network. Sounds. Usage. Uh, and of uh, and the, about. Sounds is the first on that screen. So you want to go down to Bluetooth first. Software usage, sounds, network, Bluetooth. Um, but you only need to turn on Bluetooth if you're trying to find a braille display or a keyboard. We're not going to try to find anything right now, but at that point, if you wanted to turn on Bluetooth, you would just double tap it and then uh, flick your finger to turn it on. Okay, so let's keep uh, flicking all the way down to accessibility. So I'm going to just flick my finger left to right. I just like spotlights, auto lock, passcode lock, restrictions, off. Button. Use side switch two. Head block rotation. Selected. Multitasking jet. Use for five. Bullet pinch to the bullet swipe up to date and time. Date and time. Keyboard. But international. Accessibility. Button. And it's uh, almost all the way down to the very bottom of the screen. So there was a lot of flicking to do on that. And I'm going to double tap to open. Settings. Vision. Heading. Okay, so make sure it says vision. If it gets stuck on settings, then once again, you need to touch the right hand side of your screen to refocus your voiceover. So flick your finger. Voiceover on. Button. And voiceover is on. If for some reason it was not on, I would double tap that right now and I would turn it on. But we want to go ahead and go down to uh, triple click home. Zoom. Large text. And I'm just laps. flicking my finger from auto, left to right. Hearing. Mono audio. Left, right. Physical and mode. Assistive tap. Triple click home. Off. And Button. now, and it says off. Now this is what you want to turn on. So just double tap and it doesn't matter where you double tap. Settings. Triple click the home button. Heading. And make sure it says triple click uh, the home button. So now I'm going to flick from left to right until I hear toggle voiceover. Selected. Toggle voiceover. And I do want that, so I'm going to double tap. Selected. Toggle voiceover. So from now on, when you hit that home button three times, you're going to toggle voiceover on and toggle it off. And here is your app switcher uh, with your other options. Toggle white on black. Toggle zoom. Toggle assistive touch. Ask. Okay, and you could have uh, chosen any one of those, but you are now uh, going to be doing toggle voiceover. So let's go toggle ahead and go back to accessibility. Toggle selected. Off. Triple click the home and I'm just moving home. right Heading. to left. Accessibility. And Heading. you want to go to accessibility and you want to go back. So double tap. Settings. Vision. Okay. Heading. So now we're going to go to voiceover and we're going to uh, go to other Heading. options if you chose Bluetooth and you had selected a keyboard or Braille display. Settings. Voiceover on. <clears throat> so voiceover is on, and let's keep flicking from left to right to just listen to, to your options. Voiceover practice. Speaking rate. Speaking rate. Typing feedback. Use phonetics. Use pitch change. Off. Use compact voice. Braille button. Now there is Braille. So if you actually had chosen a Braille display, you would need to turn that on and find your Braille display. So uh, now let's go ahead and hit your home button three times. Voiceover off. And voiceover just turned off. And now when we hit it three times again, it will no longer say app switch or it will say voiceover on. Voiceover on. Landscape. And that takes care home of button it. To the right. Now let's go ahead and just hit your home button and go back to home. Messages. And that is how you get set up and going. All these lessons are at yourtechvision.com.